Awesome. So thank you guys so much for being on. This event was absolutely amazing. And we had seven enrollments. And I always want to look at the KPIs. Does anybody know what that is? Raise your hand if you guys know what that is. If you do something, this is a business, right? So we want to see what worked. Did it work? Um, was that a good idea? Was that a great way to spend our time and our money and our effort? And if you don't have anything come from it, look to see what you can change. And I have to say that my Pampered Chef background, um, being in network marketing for 26 years, really came into play during this time because I was thinking about this event and this is like awesome because people want to gather, they want community, they want all those things. So we were really strategic about several things that we did and the reason that we did it. And so I'll just start out by saying this. I have lived in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. This, this is my second full summer. And my heart is to help as many people here as possible and build my business here, um, just like we want to build everywhere, correct? So this is my summer city and building relationships is key. So I want to tell you a little background on the people that helped me do this event that are my business partners here in Coeur d'Alene. So the house, the lake house that we bought, we bought from a lady and her husband named Coral. And Coral and I ended up having so much in common. And we never even met each other, but we would text each other. We texted each other for a solid year and got to know each other. And I would ask her about paint colors and stains and stuff like that. We drove the same Range Rover, the same color. We had the same taste in decor. And that's why we ended up buying this house. So that's Coral. Then last summer, I was in a line at Pier 1 for two hours because they were going out of business. And I built relationships with the people around me. And the one lady that specifically, her name was Kathy, and we just had the best time, just got to know each other. She's lived in Coeur d'Alene for six years. And Coral has lived in Coeur d'Alene for a long time, and she's very deeply connected here. And so the reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to think of yourself and who you know where you live, who's highly connected, who are your friends already that you know that are not even yet a part of your team that you could reach out to. So Kathy and I developed a friendship in that two hour line. We did not exchange information at that moment. We actually exchanged information at Target 30 minutes later. So we, bet, we both left across the street to Target ran into each other again. And we were like, this is crazy. What's your phone number? We need to be friends. So we became friends on social media. We exchanged phone numbers and Kathy started following me. And you guys know, just like all of you, we're consistent on social media. People are wondering or knowing what we do. And she reached out to me and said, are the products that you share um, organic? And I happened to be back in Coeur d'Alene at the time I got her message. And I said, let's meet for coffee. When I met with Kathy, I brought her a bag of samples, shakes, e-shots, collagen, all of it. Okay. Just one of like a little bit of each thing. We met, we had a conversation. I found out about her goals and all the things, and she was having great hair loss and she wanted to lose weight as well. And so therefore that began that relationship. And I want you to know this too. Kathy was looking for a solution. She had already spent thousands of dollars on supplements, her whole desk was full of supplements and she's also a bookkeeper. So she works from her desk. And I said, promise me this, give me 30 days and see how much of all that other stuff that you can return. Because I promise you this nutrition is gonna change your life forever. And she trusted me and she's lost incredible amount of weight and her hair is growing back because of our collagen. And so you need to know that story before I start to share the details of our cocktail and collagen party. And then the third person that was here was my house fairy, Rachel. Um, when she started working for us, she um, comes one time a week. When we first moved in, um, she did a little bit more just helping us get settled. My house fairy in Arizona actually trained her and uh, helped me hire her and interview her. It was such a great process. But Rachel and I have become dear friends. She just got married last Saturday. She's a part of our team. She loves isogenics. And so this was a great opportunity for her to invite her friends and family because she also is deeply connected here in Coeur d'Alene. So I had three really awesome business partners who were highly connected and I was also getting to know a lot of people. So one of the first strategic things that we did is we made sure that we had enough time 
to have this party and invite people. So when we decided to have it, I put them all in a text thread and I asked them about, you know, would September 10th at seven o'clock work for you? And they all said yes. And so from that point on, from that three week period on, we were able to send the tile. And I, I have the tile in the Evernote and I'll show you guys that in a few minutes. But it was really cool because the tile had all the information on it. And you'll notice if you watched my stories, I was creating lots of FOMO about the event and I crossed out my address because if they were interested, they could just contact me to have that. I'm not gonna put my address on social media. So remember that when you're creating FOMO, you can share your event, just block out your address, okay? And they were doing the same. So they were doing that. I was tagging them in stories. Um, they were texting that invitation to everybody that they were either meeting for the first time or that they knew or that they were getting to know. Okay. So we were all inviting a lot of people and we were all on a text thread together, encouraging each other and all the things. Well, something really cool happened. Coral needed a bookkeeper and Kathy's a bookkeeper. So Coral hired Kathy. And I'm saying this to you because one of the other strategic things that I did is I went out and intentionally met business owners. And I said to them, I'd love to invite you to our cocktails and collagen party. And I would also like for you to share about your business at this party. You're going to get a chance, whether it's me saying it, you saying it and networking in the house or whatever. And so they were all about that because everybody wants their business to grow. So that was very strategic in how I said that and how I worded that and how they were also saying it to business owners that they were inviting, okay? Um, we over-invited. You wanna make sure you always over-invite. When you have a party or you're doing an event, less than half the people are gonna come and then sometimes less than that. So I wanna encourage you with that is as you're spending so much time inviting and inviting, inviting, those people that couldn't come there's something really cool that we did with those people that I'll share with you. Um, but the people that couldn't come that um, really wanted to be here, now when we have the next one, they're gonna make sure they don't miss it. So your inviting never goes in vain. So I want you to, to know that strategically, okay? All right, so here's a couple other things that were really key. Of course, my husband was the amazing bartender. Raise your hand if you saw my stories, if you saw the FOMO, I know many of you are reaching out to me going, okay, how did you do that? And, you know, one of you were like, I don't have Nathan to be a bartender. But you know what? Have a friend come do it. Have, have a friend's husband come do it. Nathan was so amazing with the women. He was kind. He was fun. He served them. You know my husband. If you know him at all, he is just all of that. And so we ordered him a black apron and he wore a white colored shirt. And we also had two drinks to choose from and also red wine and white wine and water. Okay, so if someone didn't want a cocktail and you guys are gonna laugh so hard, the most popular drink was one of my favorite drinks. And guess where I got the recipe? On Southwest Airlines. Has anyone ever ordered the Deep Eddy vodka? They bring you that and they bring you the Cran Apple Ocean Spray and you just mix it in a little bit of ice. It's like this big, it's no big deal. So that is one of the um, recipes that we had. And I will also show you the picture that my assistant made. It was so perfect. And they were able to just say what they wanted. Okay. So we made a picture of margaritas. It was super simple. Nathan put cute garnishes on it and he was talking to them as they were ordering. And then they were all starting to get to know each other too. As they came in, as they came in, we had a sign in sheet and it just said, you know, who invited you um, and what your cell phone number was. And I have to be honest, like, only two people signed the sign-in sheet. And that was okay because after everybody left, I took the sign-in sheet and I remembered everybody's names and I wrote it down just to kind of have that for our reference. So I didn't want to like force that, but we just were like, hey, there's a sign-in sheet. You know what I mean? So it was cool if they didn't and they just were starting to get to know each other and having fun. When they came in the house, um, everything was set up. And a side note, this is how we made something that was supposed to be a certain way even better. When Nathan brought the balloons in, they were all tangled and I was like, it's okay. I got scissors and I tied them onto wine glasses and I sat them around the house and I actually even loved it better because it wasn't just two big clumps of balloons. It gave the whole room color and the color of the balloons, if you saw the pictures and they'll be in the Evernote too, we did the color of the balloons, the colors of the elixir tops. So that was really pretty and really fun. And that was kind of like our theme through the whole event. 
So when everybody came in, the balloons were like all around the house. And then we had a couple of lookbooks. Um, and you guys, this is just the lookbook that is in the back office in the product kit, got it um, bound at Staples. And we just had a couple of these laying around, almost like catalogs, if you will. And people were kind of looking through them. There was one on the counter where the drinks were and they were kind of thumbing through those. And I did that strategically and on purpose. So it was kind of a conversation piece, okay? The other thing that we had across the room, um, and these are all in the Evernote, so you guys will have them. This was the, um, the cute cocktail list. So they could just say, you know, what they wanted and it was on here. And that was the most popular drink right there. Super yummy. Nathan did like a sugar rim, super fun. I also put the link in the Evernote to these right here. So you guys can use those. And then we had QR codes. So it says, um, order here with Trudy Maples. And then there was one that said Coral, Kathy and Rachel. So the ones that we put on here were the Collagen Elixir four pack QR code. We also put the price above and you guys can make these in Canva, okay? Then we did just the adaption of Elixir four pack with the QR code. And then we did this pack, the three pack and the three pack of the Elixir and that with the QR code. So these were also sitting up front. I didn't have them anywhere else but up front because I didn't want people touching those or using those and having a mess later with enrollments and then the wrong place. Does that make sense? So they looked pretty up in the front. And then we also had this, I had Kayla order me this chiffon pink and I have the link to this in the Evernote as well. We had two boxes of collagen and two boxes of elixir for the giveaways at the end. And we had them wrapped with the big bows. So I want you guys to know one thing I loved about this is it was super simple. Like it was beautiful, but it was super simple so that you could take this in a tote, so to speak, and go do it at your people's houses. Like that's, you can rank advanced consultants like this by going and having them gather their friends. So that's what we did. And we had the four of the giveaway. Okay. Here's one of the most strategic things that we did. And I totally, God gave me this idea. I'm just going to say it because it was straight up true. And I want you guys to know this. I got you the link to this as well. These are these little pink chiffon bags that we got on Amazon. And I had thought about all the ways to keep these cold and to serve them. And I thought if we sat them in ice, then they're going to have water everywhere and condensation. They're going to be hard to open. And I was like, this is perfect. So we got these little pink bags and we put an elixir and the collagen in each one. So they're a little bag. And then I had a plastic tote and we had all of these lined up and the tote was in the refrigerator and super chilled. And here's what was really cool in the agenda, which I'm going to share with you in a minute. When it was time for these, we passed these out around. Everyone did it all at the same time. So they pulled it out, they drank the collagen and then they drank the elixir and check this out. Then they put the lids back on and put them back in this bag. And this became the trash. So we weren't having lids lay around. We weren't having bottles spill on my couch. Like it's all the little detail things that you might not ever think about that you're like, that is genius. And so I was like, thank you God for that idea. Cause you know, when you're laying in bed at night and you're just like, how can I do this really well? And how will it be seamless? So they could, the other thing I said to them is you can keep these for your social media because you can start to share this with your friends or you can just toss it in the trash can. Okay. So there's that. And I have links to all of that for you as well. Okay. So at seven o'clock, that's when everybody started coming in and they started ordering their drinks. Nathan was chatting with them and all the things they were getting to know each other. And then at about seven 15, seven 18, we did, I called them all to the living room and I was like, Hey guys, I'm so excited. Just come on over, take a seat. We're so excited to share a couple things with you. Um, glad you got your drink. So glad you're here. The next thing I did was very strategic and on purpose. Everybody was seated on the couch. You guys, if you saw my stories, you saw the video that I did on Instagram. And also when you're doing a party like this, remember that take your phone, do a couple social media things, and then just save them on your phone and you can post them later. You don't want to like do it right then, but you just save them on your phone. I almost got emotional in front of the room because all of those people mean so much to me. And I was like, I wanted everybody to know everybody. So what I did is I went around and I talked about Coral, how we met, all the things I told you at the beginning of this call. And then I did it with Kathy and I did it about Rachel. 
Then I had them share who the people they brought were. And it was quick. It wasn't like this huge, long drawn out thing. It was just a few pieces about each person. And it made them feel like a million bucks because everybody had a voice. Everybody felt valued. Everybody felt a part of the room. And it was so much fun. And you want to hear something really cool? Miss Idaho was at my house and she lives by me and we are going to be the bestest friends. She is the coolest lady. She lives on the backside of the island and she was just a doll face and we had so much fun. So you just never know who's going to show up at your parties, right? She was invited by Coral. And so everybody like, you know, got to know each other and networked with each other. I also said what they all did. Um, one of my girls that I invited, Katie, she owns the gelato shop in downtown Coeur d'Alene. I shouted it out, Katie. I talked about how much we love her gelato and all the things. And Katie is very interested in isogenics and building it as a side hustle because let's face it, showing up every day to a brick and mortar, kind of a bummer, right? And you can build an, a residual income from anywhere. So she was very interested in that. And then she brought a friend and then one of my neighbors came and I shouted her out and talked about her. And then the next thing we did is we showed the Amanda Larson video. Okay. I contemplated showing the Amanda Larson video or showing the um, collagen video from Isogenics. And I just really love all the detail that Amanda shares in that video. The quality, not so awesome on the big TV, but it still got the point across. We turned it up loud. She is a sweetheart and she shared it very well. And people were like locked in, loaded, listening to her. And um, and I'll back up just a second. Before we showed the video, we had the slide deck going on back and forth. And I will share the slide deck with you too. It's done in Canva. Lindsay Hofber, who is on Laura Stevens' team, and Laura is on this call right now with her some of her team. She actually helped me with that. She made one and she did an event and she's such a blessing. I love how we just all share with each other. And so it was just running on the screen. But before we showed the video, after I introduced everyone and, and they got to know each other, I had Kathy come up and share her testimony about Isogenics, about what she loved about it, about her hair growth, and just a quick two to three minute um, story. And I had prepped her for that. Coral and Rachel did not want to share in front of the room. And guess what? That's okay. Because I could brag about them and talk to them about this. Some people are really good at connecting a lot of other people. Some people are really good in front of the room and you just want to honor everyone where they're at. Okay. So again, I prepped them before because I'm not going to call them up to the front of the room and freak them out if that's not something that they feel comfortable with. Does that make sense? So we showed the Amanda video while the Amanda video was playing because guess what else Nathan did? He was my tech dude. So he was bartending. Then everybody sat down and we had it on the agenda because we had an agenda minute by minute how it was going to roll. When the Amanda Larson video was on, he went out to the refrigerator in the garage and brought in the totes of all of these things and sat them next to me. While he was pulling up the next video, which was the Elixir, you know, the Adaptive Elixir video, um, I was talking about the new stress reliever. And I was like, you guys, how many of you have stress in your life? And everyone raised their hand because, duh, like everybody has so much stress. My day today has been incredibly stressful. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my Facebook wall. They are at the hospital tonight and I'm praying they're going to be okay. But anyways, um, we still show up, right? We still show up. We don't make excuses and we get it done. So anyways, um, he pulled that video up and you know what you guys, I contemplated showing that video and I'm so glad I did. It's a minute and 43 seconds long. And the best part about that video is the part where they talk about you either stay in the exhaustion stage or you can stay right here with this amazing product. Guess what pack we sold the most of? The three and the three. People wanted the stress relief and they wanted the collagen. But notice on the invitation, we only said collagen. One of the reasons why I said collagen and cocktail party is because I didn't want anyone showing up at my door thinking they had been jinxed, that they had been invited to something that they didn't know was gonna be talked about and they knew we were gonna talk about collagen. So it was really, really cool. After that video, this is what I said. I had um, these um, tickets and I had a red bowl. And I said, okay, you guys, everybody that chooses to order and scans the QR code of the person that invited them, you're gonna get a ticket. We're gonna put your name on it and it's gonna go in this glass bowl. 
because they were going to win one of the boxes behind me of the free adaptogen or the free collagen. That was very strategic and on purpose. It gave them a minute to close a sale. If I would have not done that, I don't think we would have had the enrollments that we did. But because we had a moment and I passed out these, I'm sorry, I passed out the um, QR codes and I gave Coral to her. I had mine. I gave Kathy to hers and Rachel to hers. And they were in front of them. Their friends started scanning which one that they wanted. And it was beautiful. They did it with their phone. They filled out their information. They did their own enrollment. And all of our Isolife apps were blowing up. It was the coolest thing ever. And people like became consultants and had more people enroll on their tree and all the things. Here's the one thing that I noticed that kind of was a bummer because when Kayla and I made these, we made like this one to go on the left, this one to go on the right, this one to go on the right. Well, if everybody's ordering this, they all went on the right. And so we've had to call and move some of them over. And Isogenics was great about that when we told them like why. So I really don't know if there's like a way around that unless you made two QR codes and you had an L and an F or sorry, an L and an R and you just told them which one to scan. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. And then I had Coral come up and do the drawing. So my hand wasn't in the thing. So everybody ordered, everybody was tickets was in there. We were going around answering questions if they had a question before they finished their enrollment. And then we did the, um, Next drawing was if they texted the person who invited them um, to RSVP, then we did another drawing for that. So if you think about how much collagen and elixir Nathan and I gave away at that event, first of all, it was well worth it because it's a business write off. So I think it was about two boxes of collagen and two boxes of elixir to fill up all of these. And I think we had about, don't quote me on this, but I think we had about 38 samples like this. So remember earlier, I told you, we did something really strategic about the people that couldn't come and that they had been invited. So I said, how many of you invited people that weren't able to come tonight? Well, of course, people raised their hand and they told us, I'm like, how many do you need? So I said, I want you to take um, samples. So like Coral had several that couldn't come. So I gave her all those samples. She took a screenshot of this. Um, so she had it on her phone, but she just ended up sending them carts. And then she had both the videos that we showed and she was able to say, I'm sorry, you missed the party. I have a sample for you. Um, here's the cart. Let me know which one you want. You know, here's the picture. Let me know which one you want. And here's the videos. Enrollments are still coming in from this event that we had last Friday because we strategically did that and offered the samples to go with the people who weren't able to come. Okay. So all those little things add up to big things from this party. And um, at the very end, we just, there was this one lady that just had a, she had had a day and I just gave her a box of elixir. She ordered, but I just gave her the adaption of the elixir. I'm like, here, just take it and, you know, start taking it tomorrow. <laughs> start taking it tonight. You know what I mean? And we just had the best time and everybody just felt super connected. And then I cast the vision and I said, we're going to do this again. And all of you that just enrolled, you'll have a chance to invite all your friends to the next event. And so you just want to keep that going and going and going. And you can do this over and over and over again. And it was super successful. And I'm going to share my screen right now. And I'm going to show you a couple things. And then we can do um, a question and answer if you guys want to. But I want to open up the Evernote that you guys are all going to get so that you guys can see it. And um, it's kind of nice to see a visual. So I love Evernote because you can just pull things up and have it all there. And so this was the, um, this is the training piece that I just did with you guys. So that's why you didn't have to take a bunch of notes, but I just talked about the strategy, how we invited, how to get the word out, follow up, ordering and drawing. So I have that in there. And then these are where I put all the links. So here's the link to the collagen lookbook. Um, Obviously, you guys can match the color lids yourself wherever you're at. The collagen slideshow, tickets for giveaway. So you want to make sure that you have those. And then these were all the links to the acrylic signs, the ribbon, the chiffon bags, the black apron, and what we did before they came, things to remember, um, and then a sample agenda, which is what I just went over with you. And then here was the tile. So you guys can make this on Canva. 
Um, and there is actually, this is actually a collagen elixir bottle in her hand, which is awesome. And then the cocktails. And this is where it said, you know, um, text to be entered into a drawing for RSVPing. You can see what the balloons look like. Kathy brought me flowers. And then this is what the front of the room looked like. So we had all these set up, the balloons up here, the slideshow going, the computer was here plugged into the TV, um, the boxes here. So again, super simple, sign-in sheet, um, the samples of the drinks and then the QR codes. So I will, um, and Laura, I'll send that to you on a text when we get off the phone, but for the rest of you, I'll put it in the business page. Are there any questions that you guys have? Um, I'm looking in the chat. If there's any questions, you guys can throw it in there or feel free to unmute yourself. Do you guys feel like this is something you could go do and run with? I hope so. Um, Joanne, what's your question? Why did you put four packs instead of the six packs of the collagen and the adaptogen elixir on your sheet? Um, because I want them to order again. So I want them to have a month's supply and then a few in the middle. Um, and I felt like the price point was great because this one was um, 204, 152, 152. Right. And so that's why. Okay. Yeah. And I have one more question. I'm doing one of these parties tomorrow. Okay. And one on Thursday. Okay. And so there's two, we have the extra bonus with the extra elixir this mm -hmm. week or mm -hmm. the, or the stuff. So are you put, would I put that in the cart for this week? I would. Put the extra you're... in the cart. Heck yeah. The code will still stay the same, yep. right? Because mm -hmm. I've already made the codes. My code will stay the same. I just have to change the cart itself to go with the code. I believe so. Okay. Yep, I believe so. Any other questions? Um, I love this in the chat. You guys, this is so cool. Get together with your friends, set a date. And one of the questions that I got, I, I wanted to address this because some of you might be thinking this. I don't have any business partners to do this with. Who cares? Go meet new people and have it yourself and host it. You don't have to have business partners like I had. Like I just did that all strategic because I had enrolled those women and we wanted to do it together. So if you don't have that, it's okay. Go out and start meeting people. Kathy Coover gave the best verbiage when she said, go into business owners where you go all the time anyways. We go to that gelato place all the time and cast the vision for saying, I can help you build an, um, a residual income within the four walls that you already have. Like what a gift to that person. The other thing is, I'll throw this in here and I am so excited about this. I just made a list of all the spas, all the salons, all the nail places here. And I'm just going down the list and touching base with them. I was so excited. I enrolled one of the best spas in Coeur d'Alene. I enrolled the owner and tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, I'm going to her employee meeting and I'm helping her en enroll all of her estheticians, massage therapists, all of them. And then they're going to have QR codes in their rooms and they're going to start enrolling all of their clients. You guys, I'm telling you right now, you're going to hear a thousand no's, but the one yes that you hear will change your change the trajectory of your business. And I also have all my verbiage that I sent to that salon owner. And I was super strategic how I did that too. I made an appointment because I'm not going to just not show up. So I made an appointment. I emailed ahead of time who I was, that I was so excited to meet her. I made an appointment with the owner. I went on the website and was really like looking around to see who it was and all the things. And then when I was getting my appointment done, I was talking to her the whole time and I brought her a box of collagen and left it with her. A $40 investment to a salon owner. Do you think that was smart? Do you think that was a wise investment? You want to know the best email I ever got was this one. Hey, Michelle loves the collagen. She wants to know what the next steps are. Oh yeah, I did a happy dance in my office. I was so excited because I want you to know that there was tons of follow-up in that too. Did you get the email? Did Michelle get the email? Hey, this is Trudy Maples. I want to make sure it didn't go to her spam. Like I was very on top of it. And then I told Michelle, I will tell everyone about the spa that I go here and, and we are partners now. And it was so fun. So you guys don't be scared of no, do it scared and do it anyways. Get out of your own way and light up your business with this collagen and this elixir and our nutrition because it is where it's at. And those women that stayed after, like the ones I invited, Katie, I gave her Bia that night. I showed her the vitamins. I gave her shakes. 
like she went home with a bunch of samples and she loved it. And I also will tell you this one person said to me, Trudy, I had no idea this was isogenics. And she goes, I actually think that if I would have known that I wouldn't have come. And I said, tell me why. And she said, because I've already done that before. So a lot of people think we're a wellness or a weight loss company or a shake company. And they don't realize we are the art of well-being and well-being actually means happy and healthy. Okay. And so I was able to say to her, we have so much more than you ever dreamed of. And she's like, I'm so glad I came. So how cool is that too, that you can have a cocktail and collagen party and introduce people that think they know what it is, but they don't. So I hope that helped you guys in on this 30 minutes. And if you need anything else, let us know. Um, Laura, I will send you the Evernote. All the rest of you guys, I will put it in our business page under this video. So you guys all have it and I'll put it in our leadership threads too. Have an amazing night. See ya.